All right, good day. This is Brenda Woods Gowdy, and today we are going to be talking about healthier food choices for African Americans. African Americans have one of the highest rates of obesity in all of the U.S. So as you can see here by the image, that extra belly fat is one sign of obesity. Ethnic minorities rank among the highest in the U.S. for being at risk of obesity. And here in California, Hispanics are one of the other highest ethnic minorities, particularly Mexican Americans. Um, due to poor health behaviors, they will lean towards foods that are higher in fat content. Um, the foods that are commonly eaten are food dishes such as tamales, enchiladas, tacos, and burritos. As you can see here in this picture, in this image depicted here, the focus is on corn. Also in the Latin community called maez, the corn is one of the main dishes or main ingredients in a lot of the Hispanic and Mexican American food dishes. So here, as you can see by this graph, African Americans are more likely to diet at an early age from causes such as obesity, um, which brings along diabetes. So diabetes is one of those um, high conditions that cause death among the African American community. Stroke is another condition that is driving death in the African American community. As you can see by this graph here, about 7% in the ages of 50 to 64 are African American compared to 4% that of the white community. Also, you can see here high blood pressure, which happens to be the highest, the highest in death rate in the age group of 50 to 64, about 61% in the African American community are more likely to die at an early age. Eating healthier starts with the youth. Having healthier food habits and increasing your food behavior begins with the youth. Due to the lack of access to healthy food choices, Detrimental food choices begin at an early age. So as you can see in the picture depicted here, the kids are, they have an abundance of McDonald's foods. McDonald's is high in saturated fats and those food choices are definitely going to be detrimental to those kids as they move into adulthood. Um, the lack of fresh fruits and vegetables. Kids tend to eat more junk food. Consuming fast food can also be the culprit in facing obesity as these children lead into adulthood. So again, starting with the youth, these healthy habits need to be broken. Now if we glance first at this image here, this is going to be some of the food dishes that are commonly eaten in the African American community here in the United States. You'll see some fried fish up in the top corner. You'll see some black eyed peas, 
some cornbread. You'll see that macaroni and cheese in there. So a lot of those, even the greens there, there's probably some sort of um, meat or bacon in there. So you can see that there's a lot of those heavy foods that are going to be deeply fried or baked or saturated in cheeses or things that are really high in sodium. So to prevent the vulnerability to illness is by improving the health behaviors. So one of the challenges that is abundant in the African American community is some of these chronic diseases. These chronic conditions are high in this particular cultural group. Hypertension is one of the highest. Hypertension is defined as abnormally high blood pressure. Abnormally high blood pressure. So over here in the United States, about 85.6 million Americans, African Americans living with some sort of cardiovascular disease. That's 85.6 million African Americans living with some sort of cardiovascular disease. That's a lot of people. So here, if you check out this image depicted here, you can see what hypertension is. Hypertension, again, is that abnormal, abnormally high blood pressure. So this picture here is of the heart. And as you can see on the left-hand side, left-hand side, that's a, that's a regular, normally heart pumping. The blood flows easily through the veins, through the vessels of the heart. Easy, smooth transport. On the right-hand side here, that's a heart with hypertension. That shows that blood may not flow easily through the vessels. Through the blood vessels, it's not going to flow easily. So what does that cause? That causes the heart to pump harder. That's where the hypertension is, is when that heart is forced to pump harder because the blood is not flowing easily through those vessels. So for healthier food choices in the African American community, we have to keep it simple. We have to keep it simple. Start having healthy snacks for kids. It can actually be a time saver. You can save lots of time by making Simple, easy, quick snacks for kids. So you want to try getting the kids involved. Getting the kids involved in the preparation of the snacks. And they'll actually be more excited to eat the food that they themselves actually helped prepare. So a simple snack can be such as a piece of toast with maybe some Greek yogurt on top. Um, if you're just transitioning into the Greek yogurt. You can even go for some cream cheese, half cream cheese, half Greek yogurt. Um, cut up some pineapple or some other type of fruit, um, a mango or some slices of kiwi. Slice them up. Even cut them in, in fun shapes such as stars or flowers and place them on top of that toast with the Greek yogurt on there and that would be a great easy quick snack where you're actually feeding the kids something that's healthy nutritious and packed with minerals. By improving your healthy eating in the African American community you want to prevent the obesity that is increasing in the youth. Cultural factors influence the youth in the African American community. There's negative food influences related to the family eating patterns. Kids typically eat what their parents bring into the house. 
if the parent is bringing a McDonald's, then McDonald's food is typically what the kids are going to be stuck eating. So it's really related to the family eating patterns as well. The presence of soul food for family celebrations and traditions is another thing that contributes to the obesity in youth. So having that presence of the soul food actually increases that obesity. So you want to opt for other options when looking at those food dishes that we showed earlier in this presentation. So another way to have a healthier food choice and try to prevent some of the risks that can be in your community as an African American, you want to try getting your blood pressure checked. Hypertension affects a large number of people here in the United States. You can look at the American Heart Association. They have a lot of information about hypertension and ways to prevent hypertension. Now, if your blood pressure is reading, has a reading of 180 over 120 or greater, then that is a hypertension risk. So the first step is really to get that blood pressure checked to see if you are at risk of hypertension. And by making those healthier food choices, you can actually keep yourself in a healthy range. So how do we reduce these risks? We reduce these risks like by saying, by having actual simple snacks. Um, you reduce hypertension risk also by making healthier food choices, such as staying away from those soul foods or having an alternative choice. An alternative choice would be something such as this image depicted here, which is a nice piece of salmon filet on top of a large salad has a little bit of lemon on there, some tomatoes. Um, I see some some nuts in there. It looks like some walnuts, some feta cheese it looks like. And also by having the dressing on the side. You want to try to trade in those traditional foods for lower, lower fat food choices and also increasing your fiber foods. Having extra or a variety of salad options and putting some fruit in with that salad would actually also increase fiber in that alternative food choice. There's some challenges that come along with being in the African American community. Some ways to help have healthier food choices is getting involved. Some people have uh, go to church and have church events. So try incorporating a church garden in your community or in multiple ch churches in your community that can actually help bring healthier, fresh fruits and vegetables to the African American community nationwide. As an individual, if you have the space and you're willing to put in the thumb work, you can also try having your own small home family garden. You can reduce the risks of obesity and lowering your fat intake by actually having more fresh fruits and vegetables. That's going to help prevent the onset of other cardiovascular diseases. So one of the main challenges for the African American community is that hypertension and other chronic diseases remain the leading cause of death for U.S. adults. The African American comprise of 13.3% of the U.S. population, yet 
have a threefold greater risk of developing a cardiovascular disease. Cardiovascular diseases are chronic conditions such as coronary heart disease, stroke, arrhythmias, and congestive heart failure. Another challenge is the socioeconomic status in the African American population. The food insecurity, neighborhood influences, racial discrimination, health behaviors, access to health care are also risks that affect the African American community. What's currently known is that 25% is the death rate for African Americans, which decreased 25% from 1999 to 2015. These percentages are accurate and they are provided by the CDC. So you can actually go to their website to find out and get the most updated. But as of today, these are the most updated. Um, also 50% African Americans ages 35 to 64 years of age are 50% more likely to have high blood pressure than whites. So that will tell you that that high blood pressure makes every African American pretty much susceptible and I would encourage you to get your high, your blood pressure checked at your annual checkups. Um, they typically check it. So just make sure you know what your blood pressure is. Also, if we take a look inside here, we are going to take a moment to review this video. And now it is opening. So here we go. This will take all of 63 seconds. All right, so that quick video showed you about the, the vital signs of African Americans and how susceptible to health, chronic health conditions we are, the health, the African American community. So again, uh, we talked about some risk factors, uh, some death rates, uh, some high blood pressure rates and ways to 
live healthier lifestyles and by having healthier foods to present to prevent some of these and reduce some of these risks. Um, here, by making healthier food choices, we can also en enhance positive health behaviors. So, quoted here, young girls also described how peers and family members help them to monitor their food choice in relation to their physical appearance. So as you can see in this picture, the image here, there's different body types. So eating healthy, you can still have a certain body type. So reach for healthier foods, even ones that are, if then you're not prevalent in that actual African American community, you can make healthy snacks such as the one depicted here where you have fresh fruits, some nuts, and you can even um, feel your sugar craving by having chocolate chips. So sometimes people think of junk food as tasting good and healthy food as not tasting good. Well, you can actually have healthy foods and really achieve the type of body that you want without having that cultural pressure or that cultural um, force from people and that same cultural group or family members. Here goes a list of some references. So again,